Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Do you want to track your website's performance and optimize your ads by integrating Facebook Pixel on your Wix website? This tutorial will guide you throughout the process of adding the Pixel code, tracking events, and analyzing your data for better marketing decisions. So guys, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you can have the full experience so the first thing guys go ahead and open wix.com right after that you will be headed to the wix dashboard now in this area you would usually go to the select site and select the site that you want to add the pixel by facebook or metapixel to it then you should go to apps which will be here sites and mobile app or basically you could go to settings that will be an offer or a place also for apps now, if nothing of here will help you to find in that specific app section, well, you could literally just search for it in here, find for apps, and you could find all the apps that are going to be in the market. So click on app markets, and you'll be able to find them. Now, for this video, we are going to talk about Facebook Pixel, or basically Metapixel. So go to the marketing, and here you will find every single marketing app that is possibly uh, added, that you could add to your uh, Wix account. So let's search first by Facebook uh, Pixel or let's just write Pixel and see what are the Pixel available uh, things for us. And as you can see, guys, here there is multiple options that we can go for. There's TikTok Pixel, there's WhatsApp Pixel, there's a lot of options that you can literally go for. But as you can see in this specific um, uh, article, we need to go for the Face Meta Pixel and C API. So you could go to this page and basically you will find that specific uh, basically that specific plugin. So let's go ahead and literally take a look into this article. Let's go ahead. So connecting Metapixel and the conversion APIs to your website. With the Metapixel and K, uh, in the CIPI integration, you can automatically connect your site with your Meta Business accounts, your Metapixel and the new Meta Conversion API. So, about the Metapixel and CIPI. The Metapixel and CIPI integration lets you track conversion rates and measure the success of your Facebook campaigns. Using a Metapixel lets you track browser events on your site, like product views, purchases, and form submissions. You can also optimize your advertising to promote products that visitors have previously viewed, searched for, or added to their cards. The conversions API can give, can give you more control over the data that you share. You can measure more customer actions like user scores and lead scores and get more visibility into your customer journey. Now for connecting your site to Metapixel and CPI or CAPI, you can connect your site to the Metapixel and CAPI integration and marketing integrations in your site dashboard. To connect your site, go to Marketing Integrations in your site dashboard. Click Connect under the Metapixel on CIPI, click the Connect to Facebook. If required, choose your profile in the pop-up and sign in. Fifth, click on Next, click Next to grant the necessary permissions to Wix marketing tools. So as I said, you should go here, so choose your website, Add Integration, and as you can see here, you will be taken to this basically to this place where you can find the integrations. In our case, we want the Metapixel and copy. So as you can see here, you should click on connect. So let's click on connect right here. And these are the few steps that you have to follow. So first of all, how to connect. You have to connect to Facebook Pixel and CIPI. Follow Facebook setup, connect Facebook and CIPI to your site. But guys, this is the, the trick. You can't really have the integration made fully if you don't upgrade your plan to the premium plan so if you want to do that well obviously you do have to upgrade your plan to the premium plan in case you didn't do that well unfortunately you will not be able to actually have it now let me just search for it so if you search for marketing as you can see light marketing suit basic marketing suit so these are going to give you the ability to add the marketing apps that you want in case you didn't want to go for it, well, unfortunately, you will not be able. So this is a necessary thing. After you buy the premium plan and you follow setup to connect Facebook Pixel and copy to your site, then you have to verify your domain on Facebook. Follow Wix instructions to verify your domain on Facebook. Here are the, 
the few steps that you have to do. So confirm your own site domain on Facebook. Verify your domain on Facebook using the meta tag method. It is not possible to upload an HTML form to, to upload an HTML form or file to confirm domain ownership. Copy your meta tag, then add your Facebook meta tag to your site. So go to settings in your site dashboard, click on custom code under advanced settings. Click add a custom code at the top right. Paste your Facebook meta tag in the text box. Enter a meaningful name for your code so you can quickly identify it later if needed. And uh, six, in add code to pages, select all pages, and place your code in, choose head, then click on apply. So it is as simple as that. Then return to Facebook complete verification so you can complete the integration. Now, once you are in the third, basically in the third step, choose event to track and add them to your site. We recommend following Facebook instructions to choose which events you want to track. Then follow Wix instructions to add them to your site. Important to stop sending events to Facebook, you must disconnect throughout Wix. So here, if we finish this, this article, it's basically explaining to us exactly how we should do it. So here, you saw, like literally, you can see images, pictures, this can literally explain it. So click on next, click next on the what is works marketing tool allowed to do, click done, uh, disconnect your site from Metapixel and Capi, so you should go to your account and basically move, remove it. So, yeah, in case you had any problem, guys, you can literally go back here into these articles. Make sure to, uh, like, copy them. So, this is, like, the first article, connecting a Metapixel and the conversion API to your website. And the second article is basically going to be uh, within here, which is basically on how you can verify your domain on Facebook. So, these, these two are the most important articles that you have to take a look at because they will help you a lot throughout the integration process. Also, guys, you have to notice that you need to upgrade your plan to the premium plan. So in case you didn't have a premium plan, well, you'll not be able to do any of these things that I have shown in this video. So one of these things are basically getting the premium plan, core business, business elite, whatever you want from these, you can get them as long as it has marketing tools, which are the most necessary things are in here. And after that, once you feel like you're good to go, just simply follow these steps that I have shown you in this video and it will be perfectly good. Then every single uh, thing that's basically from conversions, from lead, from like uh, uh, anything that is related to your ads, you will be finding them on the Meta uh, on your Meta Advertise account. So it will not be showing in here. This is just like the integration page, page. But all the that the data that you will need, basically, you'll find it on the Facebook uh, uh, like Advertiser account. So you can go to your campaign and check the uh, the statics, the statistic that you will find within your campaign. And yeah, that was pretty much it, guys. For today's video if you did enjoy it make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel thank you guys a lot for watching and see you guys in the next video bye bye